All right, so in Excel, there is a function called stock history that you can use to get the stock price of any company in the world. So when I enter stock history, and then in the first argument, I need to define the stock symbol. So here I have a stock symbol of Microsoft. And then in the start date, I need to specify the date. So let's say 25 June 2024. And when I close the function and hit enter, it returns the stock price for that particular date. And this is one more way to get the stock price. And that's the using stock data type. So when you go to the data tab and click on the stock, here Excel asks you to verify that this is the company, the exact same company that you want to apply as a stock data type. And when you click on select, it convert that symbol into actual stock data type. So now with this data type, you can extract a lot of information about that company. And when I refer to the cell A1, where I have that stock data type and then enter a dot, it gives me a list of different kind of information that I can extract. So let's say if I want to get the price of the stock, I need to select price from here and hit enter. And this is the current stock price of Microsoft. And in the same way, you can use any of the symbol of any company to get the stock price. So you have two methods. The first is stock history function. And the second is the stock data type. 